Hello friends, uh, today in our class we will try to find the answers of the exercises of chapter 13 light. This is class 8 science. If you have the old book, there the chapter number is 16. In the new book it is 13. So let's first understand what light is. Light is a form of energy. Light is a form of energy. Just like heat is a form of energy, sound is a form of energy, gravitational force is a form of energy, light is a, also is a form of energy. That's point one. It's a form of energy. Second thing is the light rays travel in a straight line. They travel in a straight line. That is the important thing. Third thing is when light falls on an object, it gets reflected. For example, the light from that source, the tube is falling on this whiteboard and it is getting reflected. And the reflected light is falling on my eyes and I am seeing the whiteboard. So this is a source of light. The light is falling on an object. This is any object and it gets reflected. The reflected eye light files on our eyes. And then we see the object. So an object can be seen only when light falls on it. Third thing, the sunlight, next thing, sunlight is formed of seven different lights. You can say seven different colors. Okay. Whip, Goyer, Violet, Indigo, Blue, Green, Yellow, Orange, and red. So when light falls on an object, that object may not reflect all seven colors. It may reflect only one color or maybe couple of colors. So the colors which are reflected by an object is the color of that object. What I mean to say is, This white board is reflecting all the seven colors. So therefore it is appearing white. But this top of the pen is reflecting only green light. Therefore it is appearing green. This object is absorbing all the colors. So it is appearing black. There is no black color here. It is appearing black because it is absorbing all the colors. So you understand, when an object absorbs all colors excepting green, it will appear green. If it absorbs all colors, it will appear black. This is, reflect, this is absorbing all colors excepting yellow. So it is appearing yellow. It is reflecting yellow color. It is reflecting green color. 
it is not reflecting any color so therefore it is appearing black so now let's come to the questions when we answer the questions we'll understand many other points so please take out your books and start reading the questions we'll take up one by one in this video we'll try to cover maybe four or five questions and the remaining questions we'll try to do in the next couple of videos so what's question number one suppose you are in a dark room can you see objects in the room can you see objects outside the room explain dark room means where there is no light so if you enter a dark room where there is no light that means nothing would be visible because objects become visible when light falls on them outside the room you can see things because outside the room there is light and the light is falling on objects and the objects are visible in the light so in a dark room no light is falling on, on any object and no object is visible an object becomes visible when light falls on it outside the room there is light light is falling on the objects and they are visible in that light and they appear of different colors because different objects reflect different colors so that is question number 1 so basically what you have to understand is an object becomes visible when light falls on it if no light is falling on it it will not be visible so you cannot see anything in a dark room now let's come to the next question differentiate between regular and diffused reflection does diffused reflection mean the failure of laws of reflection okay so let us take a plane mirror this is how we represent a plane mirror this is the surface on which some chemical has been pasted now when a parallel ray of light falls on it so they will get reflected and the reflected rays will be parallel so this is called regular reflection in a regular reflection the reflected rays are also parallel if the incident rays are parallel these are incident rays these are falling on the mirror these are reflected rays these are being reflected by the mirror now if these rays are parallel these will also be parallel so that is a reflected regular image a reflected regular reflection but if the surface is not regular when the for example the light falls here it will get reflected here the light falling here may get reflected there so the even if you send a parallel beam of light the reflected rays will not be parallel here when you send a, a, a parallel beam of light the reflected rays are also parallel here when you send a parallel rays of light the reflected rays will not be parallel 
So that is called irregular reflection or diffused. Diffused or irregular. Okay. So here what will you say? The parallel ray of light will not be reflected in a parallel beam. The reflected beam will not be parallel when it falls on a irregular surface. So that is part one. The second part is Does the diffused reflection mean the failures of laws of reflection? No. The laws of reflection are being followed by each ray. So you will say no, the laws of reflection are not failed. No, the laws of reflection are not, have not failed. Laws of reflection have not failed because each ray follows laws of reflection. The beam is not parallel, the reflected beam is not parallel, but each ray follows the law of laws of reflection. So that is the second part of this question. And why, why the diffused reflection take place? Because the surface is regular. If the surface were plain and regular, it will be a regular reflection. Surface is rough, irregular, the image is diffused. Now let's come to question number Three. Mention against each of the following whether regular or diffuse reflection will take place when the beam of light strikes. Justify your answer. So, A. Polished wooden table. You have a wooden table. That means the surface is smooth and it is polished also. You strike a beam of light. So, what will be the Reflection. Reflection will be diffused or regular. It will be regular. Why it will be regular? Because the surface of the wooden table is smooth and polished. It acts like a mirror. It behaves like a mirror. Because the table, uh, the, the table is smooth and polished and behaves like a mirror. Jaise mirror mein ek image banti hai, light reflect karti hai, waise hi ek polished surface se light reflect karegi. B, chalk powder. No, diffused. Chalk powder mein diffused image. Diffused reflection. Because the surface is irregular. Because the surface is irregular. Our course. C-O-A-R-S-C. -C, course. C. 
सेम विथ सी सी का भी सेम आंसर होगा कार्डबोर्ड सरफेस द कार्डबोर्ड सरफेस इज नॉट स्मूथ डी डी इज सेम हियर इट विल बी रेगुलर रिफ्लेक्शन बिकॉज द सरफेस ऑफ द मार्बल फ्लोर विथ वॉटर ऑन इट इज स्मूथ एंड इट एक्स लाइक ए मिरर ई इज ऑफकोर्स मिरर In all these cases, the regular reflection because the surface is smooth and polished and based like a mirror. A D E, regular reflection. B and C, irregular. Paper also irregular. The surface of the paper is also not smooth. It does not behave like a mirror. So in these three cases. the reflection will be diffused in these three cases a d e it will be regular reflection because in all these cases the surface is smooth and behaves like a mirror now let's come to question number 4 state the laws of reflection there are two laws first law of reflection angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection for example we take a strip of plain mirror and we place it on a paper and we draw a straight line somewhere here which forms a 90 degree with the mirror now let's say with a torch we throw a beam of light which touches the mirror at this point the reflected ray will be like this this is called angle of incidence this is called angle of reflection this is reflection angle of reflection angle of incidence and this is called incident ray this is called reflected ray and this angle will always be equal to this angle if it is 30 degree this will be 30 degree if it is 40 degree it will be 40 degree if it is 60 degree it will be 60 degree that means this angle the angle formed by the incident ray and the normal this is called normal normal because it is a line which is at 90 degree to the surface of mirror this is called normal because it forms a angle of 90 degree the surface of mirror so this incident ray strikes here the angle between the incident ray and the normal is called angle of incidence and the angle between normal and the reflected ray is called angle of reflection and both these angles are always equal point 1 second law is the incident ray incident ray reflected ray and normal are in same plane for example this is one plane okay let us say this is the incident light this is the normal and this is the reflected light they are all in the same plane 
नॉट दैट एक ये एक यहां पर है दूसरा ऐसा है या ऐसे है दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल दे हैव टू बी इन द सेम प्लेन सो दैट इज द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ द रिफ्लेक्शन द इंसिडेंट रे रिफ्लेक्टेड एंड द नॉर्मल आर ऑलवेज इन द सेम प्लेन दे आर नॉट इन डिफरेंट प्लेन ठीक है नहीं मान लीजिए ये है इंसिडेंट लाइट और रिफ्लेक्टेड लाइट ऐसे है सो दे आर इन डिफरेंट प्लेन दे आर इन डिफरेंट प्लेन दे आर इन द सेम प्लेन और नॉर्मल भी द नॉर्मल दैट वी ड्रू हुए नॉर्मल इज द लाइन मेकिंग एन एंगल ऑफ नाइंटी डिग्री विद द मिरर सो दैट इज द सेकेंड लॉ ऑफ रिफ्लेक्शन डिस्क्राइब एन एक्टिविटी टू शो द इंसिडेंट अच्छा नाउ यू हैव टू डू एन एक्टिविटी ऑल्सो ऑन दिस पार्ट विल डू इट इन द सेकेंड वीडियो आई थिंक इज बिकम स्लाइटली लॉन्ग यू मे गेट बोर्ड विल क्लोज दिस वीडियो हेयर एंड द रिमेनिंग क्वेश्चन विल डू इन द second video and if uh, all the questions cannot be covered in second video we'll have even one more video so please do watch it carefully read the topic and if you have any doubt on any point you make a comment on my uh, this uh, video comment box and i'll try to clarify your doubts if, if you like my video please share it with your friends and do subscribe my channel thank you